from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. MLB The Show brings you baseball on a rainy night. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. On the hill for the White Sox, Jose Urania. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Okay, all set to go. So in now for the Angels, Randall Gritchick. The wind of the pitch. And that is in for a strike. And we are underway. Whoa. Line drive caught. Got it second. The foot shot. That never. Number nine, the next to hit for the Angels. That's in for a strike on the outside corner, and it's 0-1. And, and ball, left side. In time to Vaughn. Quick start here this That's evening, first. two out, top of the, the first. first. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. Randy. That is an excellent Ooh. pace. Two outs, base is empty. Brandon Drury to the plate. And downstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He powers that one out to left, and they jump out front. It's 1-0. Well, a good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Two outs, nobody on. Logan O'Hoppy will hit next. That one's in there, 0-1. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. And the home team down a run. Back here on the south side. And on the hill, the lefty, Jose Suarez. Well, you don't always know what to expect with this guy on the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. Leading Bottom up. of the first, here's Elvis Andrews. The shortstop, Elvis Andrews. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. 
Gritchick makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting second, the second baseman. Zach. Now the number two hitter, Zach Remillard. And there's a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. Nope, that's Good eye, batter. Come on. Gonna count one and two. And now the lefty. That no. one just misses. The pitch. Towards first. Drury steps on the bag to up two down. Good fade and sinking action that of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Andrew. Andrew Vaughn now. Woo, yeah, he swings Come and misses, on. and it's nothing at one. That's down one and ball. in. One strike. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, one straight. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Adele makes the grab on the run. Three up, three down for him there. We head to the second on the south side. It's the Angels one and the White Sox nothing. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. All set for the start of the inning. So in now for the Angels, Joe Adele. Adele. Urania back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Hammered down the line. And now maybe extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. That's in there. Strike one. Runner leads away at second. Lifted in the air down the left side. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. One down. The third baseman. Michael Stefano. Number 38, the next to hit for the Angels. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses, and it's 0-2. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. Next ball. offering is down low. One ball, two strikes. Runner at second here, one gone. Got him swinging for the strikeout. 
Slider got him for strike three. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just right not here. making the adjustment. The he came at him with the breaking mm -hmm. ball, pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Here's David Fletcher. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Adele stands at second with two gone. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 2. And that's outside. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 0. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. And here is Brett Phillips. On, and first offering is fouled off. And the slider catches the zone. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. At the belt and fires. Oh, and he hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, that definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to, and the release point was a little bit off as well. Gritchick stands in now and watches strike one. It's softly on the ground left side. They get the force. They limit the damage here, but the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets. And a pitch. Gets under and pops it up. And a quick out number one. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Yasmani. And now up to the plate. Yasmani Grandal. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And it is gone. A solo shot. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing here's the rookie third baseman Lennon Sosa that one misses and it's one to know mm -hmm. 
One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Jack swing went around, and it's one and two. Here comes the pitch. Chop to third. And he grabs it. Foul. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The pitch. Swing and a bouncer. To first, two away. Batting seven. No left fielder. Tyler Naquin. Tyler Naquin to the plate. And a foul ball. The 0-1. Slides. He's got it. The throw. They get the out, and that'll do it. Sox move closer on the solo homer, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. Stepping in, number nine. The shortstop, Zach Neto. And the right hander back to work. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Righty delivers. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get and yep, look out. Him. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. I don't care what some players might say. Nobody likes getting hit by a pitch unless you're in an 0-2 count and there's a knuckleballer out there on the mound. Drury at the plate now. That's ball one. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0 to count. Here Three it comes. No That's inside. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Kick Sandios, and it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now back the catcher. Logan Ohapi digs in now. 0 for 1 so far. And that one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is outside. The one two. Slider misses outside. And 
and here it comes. Out there to center. Thompson makes the catch. Rounder tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. The right field, Joe Here's Joe Adele. One for one with a double and a run score. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Check swing didn't go. And that's ball one. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. The 1 0. And that's downstairs and outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Now 3 and 0. Oh. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Eduardo Escobar up next for the Angels. Runners are at the corners, one away. And they're all loaded up. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So base is loaded with one away. Eduardo Escobar now at the plate. He's over one. That's in for a strike. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. And the pitch. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The count two and one. Swing and a foul straight back. Ground ball left side could be two. Fired to second. Over to first. Safe. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. And next for LA, number 38. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. All right, let's hold up. Ground ball to the right side. Oh. And foul ball. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's one and two. Two outs. A little bit low. In the air, left side. Naquin drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So they pick up a run on no hits, but they leave two men on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Angels three, and the White Sox one. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the center fielder, Trace Thompson. The center fielder, Trace Thompson. Suarez, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. 
You know, these White Sox definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Thompson checks his swing. Now it appeal to first, and no swing, says James Kingsley. And a pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Let's go, Chicago! Got him. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Now at the plate, number 36. In there and it's 0-1. pitch there's a strike and now one and two pretty standard high o2 fastball right there if you're smart you'll look for something down in the zone but not too far don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt and it finds its way through for a hit and now the lineup turns over with one away. The batter, number one, good stop. Elvis Andrews steps to the plate Andrews. for the White Sox. Fly to left his first time up. Ball one, no, no strikes. Ball. Squirts away a little bit. Rudder stays where he is, but the count moves to two and zero. Oh. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Zach Remillard steps to the plate for the White Sox. Grounded out his first time. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. That one the other way makes the grab for the second out. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch, and he just misses. In there at the knees. So now one and two. First and second, two down. Nice play over to first. Got him. Nice play. And that may have saved a run. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play. And that ends the inning. Welcome back. Start of the fourth. So in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. David Fletcher. The pitch. That 
and clips the corner. You know, these Angels doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Next Rebound. offering way One off straight. the plate. Three, Three two. two now. And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Three and two now. Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. He goes down looking. Now the batter now, Brett Phillips. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And one and two. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Still two and two after the foul ball. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was not a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Gritchick in the box again. Takes the strike. And it's one and one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. On the ground to third. In time to Vaughn. Angels retired one, two, three. Angels held in check, but they still lead it 3-1. Bottom of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. The right fielder, Gavin Sheets. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground, right side. Oh, great grab on the dive. Throw to first, and he gets him. Nicely done. Great read off the bat by the second baseman. He took a perfect angle to get to this ball, knowing that he was going to have to dive to cut it off. Gets up and completes the play from the outfield grass. What a great job of picking up his pitcher. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. The solo homer his first time. Just missed. What a no. And he deals. Ripped, but it curls foul. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Grandal started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and James Kingsley says he won around. Now the third baseman, Lennon Sosa. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat.
That one clips the outside corner. That's strike one. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. Good eye oh. right there. Yeah, that's too high. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Up next for Chicago. No left fielder. So two down. Tyler, Tyler Naquin steps Naquin. to the plate for the White Sox. Grounded out to short in his first trip. And that oh, one just okay. missed off the outside edge. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. Ball to strike. The pitch. There's the strike. Got him. That's the third out. The White Sox leave one, and they still trail it here, three to one. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth, number 68. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So in now for the Angels, number nine. The shortstop. Neto. And a pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Reaching for it and brings it in. Gotta love the over the shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. And here is Brandon Drury. He's already homered in this game. Just off the outside edge, and that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Luis Patino appears to be getting loose. Bummer getting cranked up as well. And the 1-0. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And that ball is out of here. That one felt good. His second home run of the game, and they had a run. It's 4 1. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Logan Ohapi. Going one. No ball, one strike. Yeah, the right hater deals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Go, 0 and 2 now. Oh. Got 
gets a piece there we'll do it again. Another one two and now two and two. pitch swings through it for the K chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three the right fielder, number seven. Joe Adele Joe the next to hit for the Angels Out towards right center field. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. And that is that. But the Angels add to the lead on this solo blast. It's now 4-1. Back here at the ballpark, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Trace Thompson. Thompson. Come on, White Sox. Let's do it, Sox. The pitch. And there's a ball. You know, these One White Sox, okay. as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Next pitch is outside. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The pitch. Okay. Struck him out looking. All right, who was the first White Sox player to hit for the cycle here at Guaranteed Rate Field? Um, Jose Valentin. No. Okay. You want to try again? Um, Tim Anderson. Chris, it was you. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I, I knew that. I know you did. Number 36, the next to hit, takes ball one. And yeah, that's a little bit high. So what do I remember about that day? I remember being in the zone. We were playing the Kansas City Royals and just felt like everyone was moving in slow motion and I was moving in real time. And it was a it was very uh, euphoric type of feeling and uh, a night that I'll never forget. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Andrews in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bounce back to the mound. Takes it himself for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Nothing across here this half. We're through five. Angels four. And the White Sox one. Back here on the south side. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Eduardo Escobar. And the pitch. 
Way oh. inside, gets out of the way. Escobar, in his 11th season, 34-year-old vet, he's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Next pitch inside, and now 2-0. A little bit of a day off for him. Instead of being at the hot corner, he can just kind of put the batting gloves on, hold the bat as he sits on the bench, waiting for his time to hit. Clips the outside corner. Now two and one. <laughs> Next offering is foul back. <laughs> And now two and two. That one is absolutely belted. And that is gone. Eduardo Escobar leaves the park. And they add to their lead. It's 5-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. Here's the third baseman, number 38. And the first offering is not close. You know, these Angels showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say their chase rate, or swings at pitches outside the zone, is under 25%, and I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. At the belt and fires. And that's through there for a strike. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to screw up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. So now one and two. One and two. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Next no. pitch downstairs, and it's two and two. It's a good take. High fly ball out into left center field. And there's one down. The batter number 22. Second now base. it's going to be David Maybe. Fletcher. One Fletcher. for two. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short, Andrews. On to first, Fletcher retired. The center fielder, number four, Brett Phillips. Here's a speed threat, Brett Phillips. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, just misses. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Vaughn settles under it and makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's now 5-1. Well, we go bottom six. Leading now it's the second baseman, Zach Remillard. The second baseman. Suarez back to work. Nope. Oh, one. Lined, and that's a base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Vaughn. 
Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. That's in there. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The 1 To short could be two. Over to Fletcher. And that's two. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. So now it's the four hole hitter, Gavin Sheets. That's a strike. 0-1. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Next offering upstairs. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Just missed. And that one wrapped foul. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Luis Patino. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching for the White Sox, number 77, Luis. Randall Grichik now. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Activity in the bullpen. Declan Cronin, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Bummer. The lefty warming up as well. The 1-0. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right hander kicks deals. And now the count is even. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Batter, and nine. next for the Angels, number nine. Zach Neto. And he swings oh, and misses at the initial offering. And yeah, that's oh. outside. Righty delivers. And one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Some high cheese for strike three. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Drury stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next one misses. Now 2-0.
Next offering is fouled back. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt in time to Vaughn. That's out number three. Offense held a check there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. Angels five, and the White Sox one. Bottom of the inning, so now it's the White Sox DH. Yasmani Grandal. The White Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Bullpen activity starting up now. Chase Silson getting ready to go. Number 59 getting loose as well. And that one ripped into right. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. So up next for Chicago, Lennon Sosa. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a curve through for a strike. And base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, Tyler Naquin. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Sosa, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's go now. Face in here. That clips the corner. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball now nicely and just Better bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him. He's got it. And that is out number three. So a man left for the White Sox. They're down here five to one. Back at guaranteed rate field. We go to the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan Ohoppy. And the right hander back to work. Misses inside. Ball one. And that's in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And the righty deals. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Whoa. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty to the plate. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And here it comes. 
Ohapi tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's where the swing, it's a strikeout. And next for L.A., Joe Adele. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Hey! Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. The 0-2. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The batter, number five. So in now for the Angels, Eduardo Escobar. He's already homered here in this one. First offering, and it just misses. And he deals. That's off the mark, and that's ball two. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Patino throws the first. Adele dives back in safely. Two two, and that one missing low. And he hits a ground ball right side dive, and he's got it. And that's a great play for the out. Well, credit the base runner there for a great secondary lead and beating the throw to second. But they don't give up. Continue to try to complete what would be a double play, and they get the trail runner on the back side. Hey, you know what? That's a pretty good play. You'll take it. Now the third baseman, number 38. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Here comes the 0 1. Ball one there. Runner at second, two down. Stop, go. Strike. Gonna count one and two. One and two. Popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that's the inning. Angels leave one. They leave this one, though, 5 1. So they turn things over to the righty, Chase Silson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Number 36 Leading steps to the plate the for the White, White Sox. The catcher. And a pitch. Hard ground ball base knock. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Elvis Andrews, one for three. And that's in there for strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Runner at first with no outs here. And that one pulled foul. And the 0-2. Go. 
goes down swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Zingy, you look at the sequence right there. Three pitches, all hard stuff up in the zone. It's another example of the way pitchers like to attack hitters in the sport today. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can execute those pitches and not leave them in the middle part of the zone, those are tough pitches to do much with. They're just tough to get on top of, and a lot of times they have that rising appearance we talk about so much. Pretty much blew them away right there. Remillard in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Cut on and missed 96 with that fastball. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The one two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Vaughn in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That's in for a strike at 95 and the count is 0 and 2. Two outs. That one missed. One and two. Off the plate, now two and two. And the right-hander deals. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. The White Sox leave one. They're down 5-1. New arm out of the bullpen, Declan Cronin. So in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. The second baseman, David Fletcher. The pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Cronin, a 6-4 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, and he works in a two-seamer. And he'll one. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Pitch is in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. At the belt and fires. Two and two. And now it's three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Naquin calls it in, and there's one away.
So up next, now Randall Gritchick. Left fielder, Randall Gritchick. In there for strike one. Action in the pen down there. Tanner Banks, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Fletcher over at first with one away. And a foul ball. Next one is off the plate. Now one and two. Let's go, White Sox. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two, two now. And now the count filled up three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Three, two. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now the shortstop, number nine. First offering misses the mark. That one missing inside. Okay. 2-0. Swing and a pop-up. Foul at a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Next pitch inside. And that's ball three. That one fouled off. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. 3-2. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. Angels five, and the White Sox one. So bottom of the ninth. Leading now here's the cleanup the hitter for the White Sox. The Gavin White Sheets. Gavin. Silson back to work. That's in there. That's strike one. On the ground right side. He steps on the bag. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. The designated hitter, Yasmani Grandal. Grandal, steps to the plate for the White Sox. Strike. On the corner for a strike, 0-1. Oh, and that one clips the corner. Here's a high chopper. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. 
Boog, it can be tough to get a good grip on the baseball when it's cold outside, and that's definitely the case right now here in the ballpark. It could have been something else, but I definitely know that feeling when your fingertips are numb and you really can't feel the baseball. Now here is Lennon Sosa. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Next offering upstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And down on strikes. White Sox down to their final out. Well, they clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Naquin stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. The one one is fouled off. And a ball and two strikes. Good eye right there. On the ground to the left. And that'll do it. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.